Those here. Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Nanalee the Done. I remain your host, Shadow Fury 33, and I'm joined right now by Google Frog for co casting, because I'm getting tired. Hello. Hey, Google Frog. Okay, so we started up about 20 seconds into the replay, and. So this is why I need a co commentator, because lots of stuff happens in 2v2. Right now, yeah, we've already got a blast chain rush. Yeah, I mean, Isle of Grief being the last one to rush map, no problem there, but Radavadra pretty much able to stop that with only one. Casually, maybe not even. That metal extractor should be repaired. Probably gonna get killed. Maybe, but but he knows about it. Yeah. Actually, it felt more like a scout than a rush. Yeah, normally it's like five or six for a rush. So that he's scout... switching into rapiers. All right, so we have rapiers coming from Caprices. Captain Nutbar going for a proxy cloak about factory into Rocco push. And yeah, he used the jumpy commander. Oh, for yeah, right, right, for Captain Nutbar. So Captain Nutbar with the recon com out there. Similarly for North Chilean G with a gunship factory, Banshee Rush going around the side, or Banshee's going around the side, looks like will be a bit of a push. Banshee Trident. I mean, they know that gunships are there, well, so they want to go for that. they've seen rapiers. They've seen gunships. That's true. So they want to go Banshee Trident, but also hide it themselves. Interesting play there. And importantly, a crane for expansion. Yeah, that's something that I haven't seen. Like, last couple times I saw, well, RAR in particular play with gunship, it was... Not many cranes, and that's the last person I've seen play with gunship much. But yeah, very important thing to do because cranes are... Cranes, as I mentioned before, are surprisingly powerful. Like, if you can have cranes, get cranes, because they're awesome. Especially in a map well, definitely like a crane. expansion situation. Yeah, those hidden expansions are great. And at this point, it looks like North Chilean... Your rapier might go down. Rapier's dead. Though now that not necessarily, you don't think so. That rapier is going to be that, swinging around. If it, if it retreats, it may survive. Not a whole lot of Although retreat the path coming up soon. Okay, well it is taking a, a possible retreat path, but it's actually not going to work out too well for North Chilean G if this crane gets hit by by the rapier coming in. Captain Upar continues to get up. I mean, the expansion for the south side actually pretty strong. North Chilean G running with a crane. Good good idea there. Good call. Getting the crane out of the way of the rapier. And that Banshee should be able to finish it off. Now the Banshee can't afford to chase. No, never mind. It's too slow. Right. Just but a bit the too Trident much. will come in and kill it. Well, the important thing is that the crane didn't die. Yep. We had early Roccos, which did not work against no defenses and glaives. Yeah, I'm a bit, I mean... Proxy Rocco. I can kind of see where the motivation comes in because Rocco's aren't particularly quick. But I don't know. He might lose his factory. I think Proxy Warrior would be safer. Oh, the factory yeah, is. Yeah, much safer. Yeah, the factory is. He needs go to down. jump his commander soon, or no, it goes down. And nice, nice walk away with the glaives. A couple of them died to defenses, but still, I like to see that. Don't stay That's in the quite explosion. Important. Now they have no ground factory, and they're fighting into tridents. Yeah, the North team has set up a really nice position for themselves. It looks like Radavadra about to set up a bunch of glaives. Probably for another assault. But I think No, they're going for the western side again. They want to finish off Captain Nutbar. Captain Nutbar is going to be spending the next half minute or so just building up a Cloakybot factory, trying to rebuild everything. South side does have the economy going for them, but they've got not much to spend it on. No caretakers near the gunship plant. They do have one near the Cloakybot factory, but that's Almost entirely defense is where the metal's going. North Chilean G, however, going for continuing that Banshee Trident setup. With Glaives in the ground for extra raiding power, this is going to be painful to go through. What does South even have? Their factory's up soon. Well, it's up in about 30 it's seconds. Important. They should be able to fend off those Glaives for that long. Hmm, yeah, with the additional defenders, that will help. Captain Nutbar's commander as well. Machine gun commander should be fine. But over the eastern the side, however... The banshees could be a problem. There's four banshees up now, which could easily take out the bottom. There's no AA. Yeah. Hidden so far. Hammers being used so far. I mean, not a bad idea, but still. That's just one more thing, really. And now the Banshee's so the hammers are a slow response to the left side, but they're being used on the right because they can. I'm a bit surprised at that, though, because the left side really needs it. 
The western side is what actually needs well, to get rid of everything. The eastern side is the, the easy one. The Banshee's going along, avoiding the defenses entirely. That's going to be... Oh, if they go around the back, they got a commander snipe. I mean, they don't know it, but that would be lucky yes. for them. Given that South yeah, doesn't know the village there. They know it's there now. They could respond by burying the commander. Oh, oh wait, no, they don't. The radar stops at the cliff. Yep. But now they know. They do know now. Capricious doesn't appear to be too concerned, though. They're continuing to build up. Very risky there. So they need to just plop raises. They could lose everything. Well, Capricious' commander... Yeah, there's no cranes or anything, so... Well, there are a couple in the main base, but none being used for expansion purposes. Unlikely. Those cranes need to make raises soon. Oh, yeah. I mean, the one in the main... The ones in the main base, definitely. Capricious going for lotuses instead of cranes... I can kind of see the logic. Or sorry, instead of razors, I can kind of see the logic of that. Lotuses are fairly Lotus decent, is okay, but one, but it won't be enough. Yeah, especially the tridents taking that fire. Those tridents are troopers. Capricious commander down, and the southeast is, well, it's no longer North Chilean G's concern. That's for sure. I think the tridents is quite valuable, though, given that they have tridents of their own. Yeah, that loss of the Trident is going to be something they're going to have to deal with. I mean, more Tridents are coming up for North Chilean G, but still. The fact is, those Banshees did not get hit. The Tridents tanked for them. But the Banshees are unfortunately not realizing that you have to actually get away from this, that there are Tridents that are going to stop them at this point. The Banshees need to run. And no, they're stopping the fight. Oh no, they decide not to and run from the Tridents. Good plan. I mean, center as well. I mean, we have finally the hammer setting up that western side, taking that out. And the glaive. You're an upgraded commander. Yeah, Captain Nutbar's been working on that commander Joe. for a while. Rather unfortunate name, mind you, but still. They've got the commander decently upgraded, but on the other hand, hammers don't much care about static defenses. Very much the opposite, in fact, and that's. That stinger on a hill could be a problem for them. Really, it's the hammers in the hill it's that are a problem. Up. You can see that so far, all of them have been taken out by hammers, and... Well, the he seems to be trying to dig in, which is not the thing to do here. Getting a shield and a rather static commander. Yeah, I mean, I've mentioned several times before that I really don't like using Aegis, or don't like I don't see Aegis being that useful as a, static, as a general defensive maneuver for artillery, just because it takes all the fire. I mean, hammers aren't so bad because they don't deal a huge amount of damage, but still, as soon as... as If it's anything big, with a big, single, powerful shots, they just penetrate that area shield because the smaller fire just weakens it to the point that larger fire can get through it no problem. Hammers are quite efficient, though, for damage. True. A few hammers firing at a shield costs more energy structures to keep the shield up than it does for the hammers' cost. That's a fair point. Although the one downside being that the Aegis can block the hammer for days. Like, it recharges yeah. shields fast enough that it's not going to make a huge difference. It's just if it was hammer and specter. The specter would be able to fire through with impunity. Or if it was a penetrator or grizzly or something, they'd be able to fire through with impunity at this point. So now an army of tridents top left, basically destroying all gunship resistance. Oh yeah. no, there's some tridents in um, south's main base. Just freshly built tridents right off the production line Ready to get killed, possibly. They seem to be playing a parallel air game, which doesn't have much to do with ground. Yeah. They should really be using their air to, to support the ground. I'm actually kind of surprised that they... Well, okay, it looks like North Chilean G does have some defensive response to the size over to the northwest. But yeah, I'm a bit surprised that there isn't a parallel raiding game going on. I mean, the Tridents kind of are putting a stop to that, but at the same time, that's... That's a lot of damage that isn't being dealt. No, and they run into all the tridents. Ah, they yeah, now at this point, I think killed. North Chilean G is going to go on the offensive. They have no real reason not to. And they also could really help out their teammate there. Radovatra could use the help. I mean, they're starting to get... And have the glaives. Radovatra is looking really ready to push in and deal some damage. He's trying to defend a very small part of the map. Like, there's an annihilator going up. Yeah. Man. And he needs 30 more energy on the grid to even run it. Captain Nutbar is really invested in this. I mean, they've been invested in just this area. This this has been their home base. They've left the rest of it to Capricis. Pretty much. I mean, there has been one conjurer over to the southwest building up some defenses and energy, but really, Capricis has been the one expanding around the map. Captain Nutbar just wants to have this one area. 
I'm guessing they must be a larger teams player and used to having a lane or used to having a smaller base to themselves rather than half the map at least or a quarter of the map. But look on the right. The east side, there's this massive yep. army of gunships which could probably just kill everything. Yeah, that gunship raise... There's no razors up for anyone. Still no razors. I mean, that's a fair point. Nothing was built up in the main base. The cranes didn't build up any razors when they had the chance. And at this point, I think they've left. Oh, not totally. They're still there. They're assisting, but... That's not enough. The eastern side's totally broken open. Surprisingly, not much to rebuild. We do have a couple conjurers to rebuild. And the western side, getting tr forced back. Brawler brawler here to stop it, or at least to push right about your back. But at the same time, try to... Well, brawler's attrition. There's no, there's no point just standing and getting killed. Well, yeah. I mean, it's pushing right about your back, giving Captain Nutbar extra room. Not that Captain Nutbar really wanted room. They wanted to kill. That annihilator is not going to do too much at this point. The big problem, though, is the main base. If it weren't for that, the brawler... Wow, that brawler is being a really useful distraction. It looks like North Chilean G is trying to take it out. Completely abandoned all pretense of hitting the main base just to take out that one brawler. It's definitely threatening, but I... I don't know. That feels like a bit of an overinvestment. Or overcommitment to the investment to get rid of that brawler. And now... Now it looks like the North Chilean so decisive. So now they're building tridents instead of races. Which makes no sense to me. I mean... Yeah, you're not going to... Ah, chainsaw. You're not going to outspam the identical unit. They do have a chainsaw coming up. So... Ah, uh, chainsaw's not great in this situation. Banshee's just run in, and run in and kill it. Right, that's your classic Banshee... Just, well, anti-air that's nothing against Banshees. A little surprised that we aren't seeing racers, though. Or Stardust, yeah, chainsaw's for that matter. Yeah, chainsaw's more... Like, even Stardust you know, would be preventing something. Preventing fighter controls. Yeah, preventing that for rapiers, but, and also for the hawks and such, if we ever had air play again. So there's very little AA on the left base. Some defenders, the Stardust will do okay. Well, the Stardust is the, like I said, I'm surprised that we don't see a Stardust inside of the of Capricious main base, inside of the south little plateau. I mean, surprised we don't see Razors, but even a Stardust would make sense. Against Banshees. And against, Especially of course, against Glaives. Glaives coming in. Yeah. Glaives and Banshees get just stuffed by Stardust, so why not? It's very bizarre. However, it looks like Captain Uppar has cracked open Radavadra's expansion. I mean, Radavadra's harassment basically stopped. It's over to the south now. Does not care. Salt over to the west side as well. This should be a nice pincer. I think... Oh, Strider Hub as well coming up for Radavadra. So Radavadra right now setting up. Looks like they're trying to just bait out that Brawler, possibly. Well, it doesn't really matter. They're capping up our losing the southwest part. Capricious it's main base. Using Strider Hub. Yeah, Radavadra Strider Hub is. is that even, I don't think the feel like the game's going to be over before that Strider Hub's up. Now the base will just fall. Oh, no, but the Banshees went first. Half of the Banshees yeah. go down right before any damage is dealt. That was the exact opposite of what was wanted. Pro tip, you can hold control when you're moving a group of forces to keep them going at the same speed. So if you want to keep tridents in front like this to have them actually take out anti-air, like take out other tridents, that would save a lot. That would have saved the Banshees if the tridents had gone first. They may even have been able to kill it. They had so many Banshees, they tanked all the shots and just killed the chainsaw and the ground AA. Yeah, and the tridents, the tridents, take, tridents to carry the tridents. The base doesn't die because all you have left are tridents. But it can't do anything, because anything it makes will just get killed. Yeah. But if the tridents went first, that would have been complete destruction. Like, that chainsaw wouldn't have survived. Yeah. The tridents wouldn't have survived. The banshees would have just torn everything apart. But now they can't run in, because there's too many tridents. They'd burst down the banshees. Well, the tridents went first, it's the thing. Like, that's the thing. you got to make it go at the same speed. I don't yeah, think, that would work. Yeah, I don't think North, North Chilean G knows to do that. So hold control, grab it, hold control, and then do your action. Like, move, fight, whatever. Just hold control, they move at the same speed. Really handy thing. And Northwest, we are seeing a scythe attack, but frankly, it feels misguided. I mean, the North It'll scythe, kill off the expansion and yeah, some energy. Maybe. At this point, I only kill a few lotuses. Okay, the expansion's down, not bad. Like, it's an okay thing to do. 
they have more pressing issues though. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like it's not a bad raid, but for the cost that could have been that could have been gremlin well, gremlins are being built, but still it could have been more gremlins. That could have been an air factory to get additional Well North is making gremlins. Oh which yeah, is really never mind. That's North. Doing. Yeah, so it could have been just gremlins for South. Captain Number could have made gremlins instead of that. They could have made They do have glaives coming, which isn't bad. They could have gone for air, they could have done a bunch of other things. The scythe assault, not a bad idea in general, but yeah, in that specific situation. Well the sc almost scouting. Also there's Banshee response. So it's not all that great. Yeah, I mean, I feel like the sides would have been better to use, especially given how suicidal they were on the northeast rather than northwest. Hit North Chilean G's base, see what's going on. They'll die. Well, I think the south base is now being killed. It's got two defenders defending it from the ground. Oh, yeah. Cabbage's base That's is it. done. Captain Nutbar's base probably will go soon well, after the, the Annihilator. Cost. Oh, yeah. The Annihilator in North Captain Nutbar's base is, almost, is ready, though. It can be used, but I think at this point it's moot. Yeah, and they can go around the back and kill off the fusion to disable it. Yep. I'd like to see the Red of Adras moving their glaives away from things that'll explode, though. It's always, always a smart thing to do. If you know something's going to explode, move away from it right before you kill it. It'll save loads of money. And position and everything. It could win games. Very important thing to do. At this point, though, Captain Nutbar is the only one left, pretty much. Cabris is... Yeah, with his heavily defended corner of the map. Heavily defended, but honestly, I think there's enough forces without even resorting to missile silo or anything to get through that as it is for the North team. Oh yeah, they can do basically anything they want to kill it. With the economic advantage they have. Yeah, and continuing to grow. I mean, they're, they're taking everything they took. They killed off the South team, they're reclaim. They're just taking all that, not even reclaiming, just... They're not reclaiming, actually. They're just getting new metal extractors. Yeah, they really should be reclaiming. Well, there's they're some reclaiming. They're setting out a bunch of constructors. Maybe that's their purpose. Yeah, there's some reclaim over to the north, and Catapult coming in to finish off the western base. Going for a bit of a classic approach. Artillery to break defenses. The glaives won't help because there's too many stardusts. Oh, no. I mean, the thing is, I think that... Oh, are they going to be going for it? They might. No, just making a perimeter. Yeah, that's a better idea. Make sure nothing can get out without them knowing. Although, admittedly, the backside potentially could get out if a gunship plant or air factory was built in Captain Nutbar's base. Captain, Numbar's, Captain Nutbar is not actually building anything. The Clokebot factory has been idle for a little while. Cabbage is with an amphib plant. He's been focusing on making the Annihilator come online. Yeah. This is very big teams, I think. I mean, you'd probably know more than I, but this feels like a big teams play. Am I right? Well, sort of. Annihilate is a decent unit, a decent structure to build, but you also want the rest of your front to be alive. I meant more just the way the Captain Nutbar has been very dense. Very yes. focused on one area of the map. So there's Impalers, which have no counter, you know, from their position. Yeah. I mean, the only thing that would help would be if they had air presence. If And Captain Nutbar is getting a gunship plan, but yeah, if the South team had air presence, that would help, but... Help, well, they can't run maybe. air into the tridents. No, they can't that's, run the thing. that's like the only glaives. thing I can think of offhand that would help. That or a nuke silo. Like Inferno out the Impalers, just force them away. And Captain Nutbar can very committing fishy, suicide of their commander. I guess they wanted to destroy Glaives of the Explosion. That's about all they accomplished, unfortunately. <sighs> Bit of a shame. That, com that commander was fairly upgraded, too, as, they, as far as I can tell. I think it was just level 3. Not bad the drone yeah but it was a lot of their income yeah when you have 25 metal that's a fifth year income so that was a bit of a bad loss not sure what the motivation was there i think that might have been a scouting rush. Bad. yeah a bit too late that or a scouting run and didn't realize that there had been a perimeter that there is a full contain going on and more impalers coming in that catapult's just about done a minute and 15 seconds left when that's done... It might even be irrelevant by the time it's done. Yeah, no no kidding. Actually, the gunship plant not is not being used. Captain Nutbar isn't really building anything. Cabbage is getting... But once the amphib plant's done, they have a grizzly on uh, the way. He's going to build a behemoth to kill the impalers. That is his plan. Oh. 
that's going to take too long. Between Captain yeah, Nutbar, I mean, between Cap just going for the Grizzly and Captain Nutbar trying to build that, yeah, eight minutes is way too long. This game is not going to last two. Now the okay, now the Annihilator's down. The Behemoth actually got stopped halfway through with the Annihilator destruction. Explosion destroyed the nano frame, and that's it. Wow. Yeah, that Just catapult. Have to kill off the Stardust. Yeah, the Stardust go down. That'll be game. But honestly, I think that catapult will get up. I think it'll get one shot out, and I think that'll just be for posterity. Uh, it walks sake. very slowly, though. I doubt it. Well, we'll see. I'm thinking it'll get one shot, and it'll be right as the game ends. The catapult missiles will fire. Like right at the last second. But I think they're gonna keep going. I think blue team. I think south team is gonna keep going until this grizzly's up. They probably figure if we can get the Grizzly up, then we can push. Then we can get rid of all this stuff. We don't have to care at all, even though Impalers deal like 500 damage or 800 damage a shot. So 10 Can't Impalers. Can't Grizzly, though. Hmm? Can't hit a Grizzly. Well, they might be able to. Grizzly is pretty slow. It's slow, and honestly, two volleys will slaughter it. I mean, 9,000 health with 800 damage a shot. With How many are there? You have like, to make it stand still, though. Fair point. And, well, the Stardust are down, though, and there we go. Spending, we made a little base in the left, bottom left. Yeah, the Southwest has been fortified somewhat, but it's mainly economy. No production, no big deal, and the Grizzly's not even going to survive. That'll be surrender. That's it. Capricious is already throwing in the towel. That Grizzly was their only hope, and with a gun, that's it. And that catapult, there's the catapult shot. Told you. Told you there'd be a catapult shot. Only yeah, one, Yeah, they went to the south. Maybe two if they don't resign. Oh, well, maybe. I don't know. I think... Well, they have the Strider Hub coming in the southwest. That might be enough, maybe. But that's... I don't know what they could even well, build. enough to make them not resign. <laughs> yeah, enough to make them have some hope. But really, it's false hope at this point. I mean, it's 12 metal per second to 54. I admire their tenacity, but I don't think they have much chance. Yeah, catapult shot coming in... That's it. There we go. That is game. Well done, North Chilean G and Radavadra. Really, just good, solid pushing throughout. I feel like I feel like a lot of that really was Captain Upbar. They they had that set up. They had the proxies up, but I don't feel like they pushed from proxy. They that's really what you and want. the weird choice of um, tridents. As in, North Chilean could just make tridents because they were good for what he wanted to do. He wanted to attack with them and to beat the Banshees back. Mm -hmm. But then South responded with Tridents, so North could just say, okay, I'm going to make Tridents. Yeah. They shouldn't respond with Tridents. It's like, I have more money than you. I'll build more Tridents than you. Good luck with that. Yeah, you want to, you want to make this bad count? I'll just keep on making my units. Yeah, I am I am surprised no Razors were built. I feel like they're... That almost feels like something that is just not really something Captures may be familiar with. Yeah, it was just overlooked, I think. Yeah, because defenders were built a fair amount, and lotuses were built a fair amount, but I don't feel like anything else was. And the chainsaw, yeah. But I feel like the chainsaw was, well, it's the most expensive anti-air. I had the money for it, so I should build it, I guess. Yeah, well-intentioned, but I'm also a bit too late. Yeah, and not super useful against that composition. Man, a good couple razors. That would probably help. I mean, a good couple razors into rapiers as well, just to have it. So if an attack happened and then got broken by the razors and got broken by other anti-air, took out the tridents and the rapiers could come in as counterattack. I don't know. That seems like a plausible option, but honestly, I just feel like Captain Upbar was using a lot of the metal for defenses that didn't really go anywhere. Yeah, they just got ignored throughout the middle of the game. Yeah, if the Annihilator... Like, one thing I could see possibly is if the Annihilator was put... Uh, I don't know if you can see... Oh, you can't see my comments, of course. If the Annihilator was put just off the river, like on the other side of that little well, moat, I guess, from Radavadra's base, that might have actually been able to hit Radavadra's base from the outside. Oh, yeah, kill off the factory at least. Yeah, I mean, it's not the best idea, but if you're going to build an Annihilator, you might as well build it where it's going to deal a lot of damage as a static unit. And on this map, Defendi, risky, but still. The defendy thing could have worked. We needed to move out with the defenses to try and, say, take the top left and, and secure it. Yeah, like rolling defenses. 
but everything Although is it is hard because there's a big empty spot in the middle of this map so it's hard to make defenses across it isn't it's it's not very worthwhile to just build defenses through the middle choke point yeah that's there's nothing there to take <sighs> yeah the northwest i don't know even that that's hard because you get mired in the marsh that's okay. It slows down units. True. Yeah, actually, come to think of it, for defenses, that's fine. I mean, with enough razors to make sure that North Chilean G couldn't take that, Radovatra had the cloakies, but, you know, build a Stardust or two, and that's done. Hmm. Well, at any rate, it seems like it has really just outclassed. So, hopefully we do see Caprasis and Captain Up are in the tournament on Saturday. So, yeah, once again, tournament this Saturday. Sign up in the forums. There's links in the description, which won't be relevant next week. So if you're watching it right now, great. If you're watching it on Twitch, obviously there's no description. But go to the forums. Go to the 0k.info forum, and that will get you everything you need to sign up for the tournament. It's on April 2nd at 10 a.m. UTC. It's like 3 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, 6 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, and I think it's like 6 for you in Australia. 6 p.m., I think. Am I right? Uh, usually that's when it is. I'm not sure, though. I haven't checked this one because I was away on the Saturday. Right. All right. So sign up for that. Should be good. Swiss into brackets, so you are guaranteed at least four matches, I think, three or four matches, and possibly more. That should be enjoyable. It'll be 2v2. If you need a teammate, you can find him in the forum thread. And I think that's about it to announce. So that's it. That's it for me tonight. Thank you for watching, and... Goodbye, Google Frog. Thank you for helping me out in this last game. Yep, I think it was good. All right, and have a good night, everyone.